Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Snap-on Joseph Hall Tool Show. The truck is a mess, but uh, we got a new guy to talk about today. So let's get into All it. All right, guys. So this is the EETH 312A. This is our new thermal imager. Uh, it looks very much like the thermal imager Elite because it's built off the same base, kind of like the Zeus Plus to the Zeus. Um, this is the latest and greatest. Um, obviously, few of the differences we can start off by telling you about the temperature of it so uh it can go anywhere from negative four degrees fahrenheit all the way through to 840 degrees um we've also updated the screen the temperature sensors inside of it so it's a lot more of a crisp picture um which we will get into right now i just got it powered off so we can talk about some of the features and then we'll get into a demonstration on obviously how this is going to make your guys' lives easier. Um, we've also added a few more picture-in-picture -picture modes. Um, it's a lot more high definition now as well, um, which I will get into the exact numbers of it uh, once we do the demo. Um, along with that, of course, it is uh, backed up to the Altus Cloud. Another thing we'll get into if you're not familiar with, it does make life a lot easier for trying to service the customer better. And I guess without further ado, we might as well get right into it. All right, and to, uh, I guess, plague your nightmares, <laughs> my overstocked and ready-to-rock truck is going to be the background to this bad boy. Uh, I guess my unfortunate receding hairline as well. Uh, so, booting this guy up, we're going to go right from the start all the way through. So, I didn't talk much about the resolution, but I should say that we have upgraded it. Uh, it's a large 4.3 degree, uh, 4.3 um, inch screen, I should say. Along with that, it is 120 by 90 resolution. So that is upgraded from the last model. I'll be honest with you, I cannot remember the last model for the uh, for the actual resolution, but I can tell you it has been upgraded. Um, image blending, that's going to be a new one for you as well. So you'll notice. It kind of looks like you're looking at a regular picture, but very grainy. That's just because you're getting an overlay of that thermal imaging as well. So when you start, I, I guess, using it, you start really realizing how much the resolution has changed. I get really close there and you can almost read the uh, the packaging on a lot of these uh, these boxes. So again, being able to overlay that in, being able to see what components are actually heating up is going to be big for you guys and actually we've we've done something a little bit different as well i might as well get right into it so first of all i just clicked the trigger on the back here that's going to take a picture now if we go into the menu over one you're going to see the time that that picture has been taken and also it it actually gives you three pictures for every picture that you've taken it gives you your settings what the maximum temperature the minimum temperature is spot temperature color palette uh, all the information, so when you go back to this picture and you think, well, what was I taking a picture of and and how, what am I looking at, basically? It's going to tell you the background. You're going to get your picture that you've taken, but also it's going to give you your picture with full color. So when you look at that, uh, that lovely rainbow of colors, you're going to know exactly what that picture was. And you can see that overlay there, how... Uh, high definition that is now which is fantastic now while we're in our pictures I should mention if I go back here we go over to the little eye in the top left these are gonna be a it's an updated which I should mention so before you skip past this part of the video because you've seen this before this has been in a few of our thermal imagers uh, we've actually updated the amount of uh, background information the, the different pictures um, actually let's just sneak into it Al also gives you a bunch of motorcycle diagnosing tips as well so let's say you're dealing with a motorcycle exhaust leak it's gonna tell you what you should be looking for of course where that lovely heat signature is is probably where all that heat is escaping and it's going to tell you what exactly you're looking at for a picture to explain it to you so when your picture doesn't look exactly like it but it still has the same uh description you know you found your problem everything through to radiators again when we talk about these tools this is this is the least special specialty tool that we sell what i mean by that isn't that it doesn't have any one use it has so many 
uses in it from O2 sensors to catalytic converters to heated seats to well, home inspections. Uh, let's be honest. Do you want to see where you're losing that uh, that hot air out of the uh, out of the house in the winter? Differentials. And again, these are all in your tool when you purchase it. Make it easier for you to diagnose anything from pulleys and bearings. Let's say your idler pulley. You think it's squeaking. Well, that's a known good image. There's your known bad image, obviously generating more heat, probably squeaking. And uh, you know which pulley to order right off the bat or to further diagnose. Uh, stuck on, I should go into electrical, stuck on relays, battery cables, heated seats. Like I said, there's your good image. And lo and behold, uh, some heat, especially with electrical. If it's hot, it's probably not doing what it's supposed to. So um, going back to the thermal imager itself, I'm going to talk about a few little things that you might notice with it. Your top left corner, that's going to be your temperature right in your crosshairs. So you'll notice it, I wouldn't even call it a lagging. It's just a recalibration of the screen. So what happens is you'll notice right now the color palette on the right side is 96 down to 35. And as that drastically changes, so if I go down here really quick or really quickly up you'll notice it'll stop it'll say recalibrating that's just so that your cal your color palette is as accurate as it can be in the uh the the right side and obviously giving you that exact temperature on the left side so you can see my uh my heater that's on in the back it's working at about 85 degrees fahrenheit which is fantastic because it's getting a little chilly uh up in nova scotia canada uh and then of course you do have your zoom, uh, that's another new feature to uh, the Thermal Imager Plus compared to the Thermal Laser and any of our other Thermal Imagers. Now you can take videos if you hit the, if I remember correctly, it's your no button, and then you can take up to a 20 second video. Now that's really big, again, because obviously when you're trying to show something that's uh, turning or moving or grinding or creating that heat, you're going to be able to show that with uh, with this thermal laser now. Instead of doing what I'm doing and taking a video of the screen, take your video, and then of course you can go to your menu, go over and watch that video again. You can also see what uh, what your color palette is on the right side if you've missed something. Now. I think I mentioned to you guys, if I haven't, that next little logo there, it says that your Wi-Fi is active. Why would you ever need Wi-Fi on one of these bad boys, Joseph? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to flip my screen over to here. Now, if you guys are familiar with Altus Drive, this is going to be a quick little run through for you. If you're not, this is basically our landing platform for all of our intelligent diagnostic scan tools. So instead of having to plug a tool into a computer, pulling those files off, it automatically downloads right to this landing page. So for an example, if I turn this bad boy back on, I know very unprofessional of me, but if we turn this bad boy back on, and we take a quick picture. I'm just going to take whatever I see. Oh, we'll spin around this time. And again, you'll see that calibration screen because we moved a little bit quicker. Let's take a picture of my front dash. So that's now taking a picture. It's ready to rock. We're going to turn this guy. Actually, we're just going to leave that right there. We're going to come over to our Altus drive. I'm going to hit refresh. Now, sometimes it can take up to a minute for these pictures to uh, to load up because obviously it does have to find a good Wi-Fi. It does have to send it over. But for an example, these are all those pictures that I have just taken from uh, well, about two minutes ago when I was doing this demonstration video. So if you want to go into it, you can obviously see your color palette. Um, you're going to get your three different pictures there. So if you are looking at, okay, what's just the thermal image itself? What's your overlay picture? And then what's your picture of in the first place? So fantastic way to be able to, again, have a landing page to see exactly what your technicians, if obviously you're a service writer, um, or what the technician yourself has taken a picture of. You'll see me playing around with it this morning. And obviously as these pictures and videos populate you'll see them pop up this was that dash picture that i have just taken so in summary i always get the question after the videos well joseph you're 
you're telling us all these features, but why do I need XYZ, whatever tool it is? Well, to put it simply, this is another set of eyes for you. This is going to be able to decipher the problems before you even get to them. If you shoot this at a tire, well, you might find that it's a misaligned tire, overfilled, underfilled. You're going to see where the heat is being generated from. Of course, just quick reference. Um, well, you got an electrical issue, shoot it at your uh, well, fuse box, shoot it at your relays, see if there's any issues there. Again, quick reference instead of having to test everything separately. Uh, it's going to be a time saver. You're going to be able to save a lot of time by obviously using this instead of going around testing every uh, coil pack, every battery cable, everything that you do on a regular basis, this is going to do for you. Um, and again, obviously, that reference point of having all your references of what colors you should be seeing, what temperatures you should be seeing, that are going to save you a lot of time as well. So if you need one, ask your local franchisee. And if I'm your local franchisee, I have three left on the truck as of right now. Obviously, we'll see what the day brings. You guys have a fantastic week or weekend or whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you next time.